It's Jan 14 and I'm cycling uh, out of Rockhampton. These are the tallest buildings I've seen in Australia for some time. Another tall building. Now this must be the old part of Rockhampton. That's a very old building in Australia. After leaving Rockhampton, I'm back on the highway. I've pulled off the highway hoping that I might get a drink, but uh, there's nothing there. That place is closed. The hotel opening times are Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 2pm. Thursday and Friday and Saturday at 12pm. So, unlucky in this little town. This is what you call a long train. Just after 10 o'clock in the morning on Jan 14. I've now come off Highway 1 and I'm on Highway 58 which leads to Gladstone where I have a warm shower host. After 70 miles I've reached uh, the city of Gladstone this is the main street at uh, Gladstone. And I've just taken my bike into that bike shop there. It's 6.25 on uh, Wednesday, Jam 14. I've made it to Gladstone and I'm staying with Rene and John Petroni uh, in their house. And they also have uh, another visitor in the house. And this is called Monty. Monty. So this is Monty. So here he is, he's gonna come on my arm. There you go. And he's wrapping himself around and what is he? A coastal carpet python. Oh okay, so here we are. Where has he gone? Right, that's just there he is. Wow. There you go. He's gonna slide up my arm. It's quite cool actually. Okay. Oh, don't, don't get spooked. Oh, it's rather nice. It's rather nice. Actually, he's now hooking himself around me. <laughs> Apparently uh, Monty is uh, fed frozen rats. Okay, fair enough. All right, but uh, they're frozen. Uh, they've got to be thawed for Monty to eat them. And he only gets fed once a month. Better than a dog. And he hasn't got to take it for walks. 
As I cycle out of Gladstone, I've come across probably what must be the major tourist attraction here. Unfortunately, it's closed. How I'd love to have gone and seen that. Obviously, sheds are big in Gladstone. Uh, another one that's closed, unfortunately. Brisbane, 529 kilometres. That'll be six days from now. I'm back on Highway 1, heading south to a place called Miriam Vale, where I intend to camp. Well, this is Borough Run Cafe, where you can buy... Oh, he's nice. Nice gorilla. A tiger. Get a panda. Now, that would adorn anyone's garden. We have a tortoise. A giant monitor lizard. Or even a zebra seat. I've made it to Miriam Vale. It's just around 12 o'clock so uh, I'm going to call it a day here and I'm camping here and just across there is a pool. It's quite a small pool but it's a pool. This is uh, Miriam Vale. It's tinny o'clock here in Miriam Vale. Cheers. It's Friday, January the 16th, at just after 6.30, and I'm on the road from Miriam Vale down to Bundaberg. And thankfully, I'm not on Highway 1 anymore, the Bruce's Highway, I've turned off. Uh, but interestingly, in Australia, they have what looks like peace maps, and it tells you which roads are open or closed. Some lovely countryside here in uh, South Queensland, and the climate is lovely. Back in Miriam Vale, somebody recommended this dirt track down by the side of this bridge, so that's where I'm going to go. Well, it leads down to this little creek. And the guy said that you can swim in it. Uh, he didn't think there were any crocodiles, but there might be the odd one freshwater crocodile. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a check. Well, there doesn't appear to be any crocodiles. And the water is quite warm. Do I risk it? Right, here it goes. Oh. Oh. I am very wary. As I as I was swimming here, the lady down there uh, started talking to me. And I was saying, are there any crocs in the river? And she said, no, I don't think there are. Uh, there haven't been any sightings of crocs, but there might be the odd bull shark. That's comforting. 
made it to Rosedale, which is just off the highway down to uh, Bundaberg. And it's a hot day. This is the Rosedale Anglican Church. It's coming up to midday. I'm about 30 kilometers from Bundaberg. And it must be it must be one of the hottest days I've had in Australia. It must be up into the high 30s today. Well, after a very nice day, it's turned very wet. It's now coming up to three o'clock and it's bucketing down with rain. It's 3.30 and I've made it to Sharon, which is uh, a town outside of Bundaberg, where I'm staying with Carl and Loretta Webb, who are friends of Pat and Bertha Wells in Dingo Beach.